I like taking history, restoring that history, bringing the old school stuff back, but modernize it and give it today's technology. And these cars are American history. And when you bring one back to life, it's like, yeah, you know, that's awesome. Right now we're in the middle of building a 1969 Ford Mustang. The Boss Mustang, it's one of the most sought after muscle cars of our time. What makes our car cool is it's got one of the rarest bosses in it. It's got an all aluminum 494. The motor was actually built back in 69 specifically for Mario Andretti's Can-Am series race car. There was only 10 made. The problem was is they actually made it too big and too powerful. The thing was just crazy horsepower. Even die-hard Mustang fans don't even know that this exists. And that's basically why we thought this engine would be good for our project. Let me start at the beginning. We talked about getting a junker for the project, pretty much a test car. I started doing different renderings, different drawings we started making our measurements and our cuts. If anybody knows and is familiar with the Mustang, it's a unibody. We've cut out all the unibody features and we've actually installed a chassis underneath it. With putting in a chassis, you've separated the body. So now it's absorbing all of the blows in the road and the bumps. And it's pretty cool because we put pass-throughs in the frame for the exhaust system and the way that it moves up and over the frame and over the axle and back out and around the fuel tank, it's pretty wild. The motor dynoed at 777 horsepower, which is wild. With all of that power that the motor's putting out, adding that chassis into there is gonna make it handle a lot better than a stock 69 Mustang. We tried to make it look like the old school funny cars and give it that drag racing look. If you look at the old school funny cars like Gas Ronda, they chopped it, they widened it, set the motor back as far as possible, got it down as low as possible. We custom built the whole dash, fabricated it ourselves. We made the 2011 gauges fit in there. And it's not just a 69 Mustang anymore. We've created this piece of art, if you will, that will handle way better than it did in 69. Mario Andretti actually showed up at SEMA in Las Vegas. And seeing him recognize the engine and the expression on his face when he saw that motor, that made it all worthwhile. I don't think he would have signed it if he didn't appreciate the history and the memories that it brought back. He just authenticated it, you know, by adding his signature on it.